What's up, everybody? Afro Joy here, Tim Lakatia is. I guess you heard about. If you seen my last video, you might have seen that uh, they talked about Eric Garner being choked out by a police officer and dying. Well, I found out that the coroner is looking at the case as a homicide. What I mean is that the police officer that put this man in a chokehold is now going to be charged with murder. And the police that was the police officers that was with him would probably be arrested for accessory. Now, everybody's seen the video. I've seen the video. There's two versions of it, and I've seen it. And to me, uh, to me, I look at it like this. Uh, I look at it like this. They deserve to go to prison for it, make an example for it. Their police officers can't go around harassing uh, innocent people or causing bodily harm or even killing them because they think they're my, they think they're God because they hide behind a badge. And to me, like I said in the last one, this man did not have to die because of what a police officer wanted to do. They said it was the man was trying to sell cigarettes, and he was telling people that he was. What happened? What his sad story was that Eric Garner was. If you've seen the video, was he was breaking up a fight and. The two guys that was fighting ran off. Why didn't the police chase them? But they was the police officers was accusing this uh, Eric Garner for selling cigarettes. And to me, I thought this was kind of jacked the hell on up. And to kill an innocent man for nothing is very stupid and retarded and ignorant. Because they just killed this innocent man. Why would you do that? You hide behind a gun. You have behind a badge and you go out and you kill people. And it's stupid. It's, it's ignorant to do that to somebody. And, and now since this happened, now since this happened, now that the officer that killed him are, is going to go to prison, going to be probably charged and sent to prison for murder. And I'm sending a prison. Oh my God, hallelujah, praise the Lord to you. Send this police officer pr to prison for killing the innocent man. To set an example, just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can go around kill innocent people all your life. That's all I'm saying. You just can't do that because it's, stu it's stupid to do. And it's wrong to do is to sit there and kill somebody because you think you're off high and mighty on the up on the totem pole because of what? Because you have a badge? Is that what that is? Because you have a badge on you? And I laughed so I, I sat there and I looked at it it's like for real, y'all really gonna sit up here and kill this man for what? Breaking up a fight. And like I say, if you look up on YouTube, you can see countless videos of people kill, uh, hurting people and all this and that. And, and, and it didn't make no sense that how this man can get away, that some police officers can get away with killing somebody or hurting somebody or destroying somebody because they think it's okay to do it's a fun to do and all this and then I look at it it's like you're supposed to serve and protect people but how can you serve and protect when you're killing people you're not serving and protecting the people you're killing you're hurting you're destroying you're messing them up and all this and that and it's like and I gotta ask the people that watch my videos do you feel safe when you walk down the street do you do you feel safe when you walk down the street because when I see a police officer, I don't know what to do, either run and hide or ask for help. What do you do in these scenarios? Do you call the police to ask for help? Or do you fear the police because you're feared that they're going to kill you? I've seen a video on Facebook where a police officer busts up in this guy's house. 
didn't say he was under arrest, didn't say nothing. He just busted up in this guy's house. And literally tanked this guy. Didn't say he was under arrest or nothing. Just attacked this guy. And like I said, it's stupid for this to happen because Uh, it's it's just I don't get how policemen can sit there and do that to innocent people, thinking they have the rights to do that, have any rights to do that to hurt somebody or kill somebody or take their lives from anything because they wear a badge. It goes from all branches of law enforcement, from the police to the sheriff or the uh, or state trooper doesn't matter you don't have a right to take somebody's life because you wear a badge and it's gotten sad to see that this is what happened in today's society that the, the people can kill you that wears a badge and they, they want people to trust them. How can we trust you when this happens every day? This happens every day when a police officer goes and hurts some innocent person over nothing. Because they think they have the power to do that. I don't think they should. I don't. Like I said, man. When you let the police get away with anything. You're letting them get away with a lot. That's how I see it. When you let them get away with one thing. You let them get away with a lot. Because. I wouldn't even sit there and let, if I was the president or any anything like that, I wouldn't let them get away with a lot. Because one thing is, being a, like you took an oath. The oath that you took, the oath that you took said you will serve and protect the innocent and weak but now when you look at videos like the Eric Garner video you kind of question it who they serve and who they protecting that's the question who are they serving who are they protecting to me they look like they're serving nobody but themselves and protecting themselves there's been cases where I've seen where an officer of the law have actually asked for sex from a prostitute. Yeah, he he asked him. He asked him, "Oh, if you don't want to go to jail, you give me sex." And that's what happened. She gave him sex. She gave him sex, and she didn't go to jail. It's cases like that. Like, what? Like, who are you looking out for? It's the question, and it's pissing me. And and, and, and and you got a question. It's like, are they gonna protect our kids, or are they gonna kill our kids? Because I look at it like, is if they're not gonna, it looks like they're not gonna protect our kids. Because if they can't protect the adults, how can they protect the kids? Like you look up on YouTube, look up on YouTube, and you look up police brutality. You'll actually see videos where police actually hurt kids. I've actually seen videos where a kid that was, like in my last video, I told a kid was walking over an overpass over the highway. And he was uh, kind of hurt and dazed and lost. Or something like that. And a couple stopped. They went to help. They called the police. The police came. Instead of helping the boy, they tasered the boy. The boy fell off the overpass and let it on the highway and it broke his back the boy laid up in the hospital with a broken back because the police tasered him I seen like for real how how far would this go man with the police it's gonna get to a point where the government do do, do away with the police is that what it is that the police is like that the government is going to do away with the police if the police cannot 
protect and serve or not do harm to the innocent and what is is that is that what is going to happen is the police is the government really going to do that because we cannot sit here and ask for help from the police when they hurting the people seems like that's what, what this seems like that's what we can't do we can't ask for help ask help from the police because the police want to hurt us they don't want to help us they want to hurt us they want to cause more cause more harm than than good and it makes you question it why why is the question why do you want to hurt people that is innocent you killed this man because he was breaking up a fight and plus I want to say it's because he was colored too I don't want to say I don't want I, I don't want to say it's because he's colored I'm, yeah like I wanted to rephrase it earlier I don't want to say because he was colored but the way he looked like he took five, what, five or six five or four cops to take him down and one cop was put a chokehold on him even though it's an uh, illegal move for the police to use and what happened he they killed him one officer puts him in a chokehold killing this man and not knowing that this man has asthma has an overweight problem and so on and so forth when they put these things on these people when they use a taser or when they put them in a chokehold or when they put this on them or put that on them they don't know what's wrong with this person they don't know if this person has a heart problem has a mental problem has a whatever problem they have because they don't never second think about the person's health or mental issue just because you think it's okay to use a gun or use a taser or use something to stop them you never second guess would this damage this person to a point where they sue or where I lose my job they don't never second guess that this man had asthma he was overweight he already had health problems and they killed this man I put one police officer put him in a chokehold cutting off his air supply and he told him he can't breathe he can't breathe. Oh, he kept saying he can't breathe. And after he said that, he was handcuffed and died. He died in handcuffs. And there was few other officers holding him down. That's going to be accounted for accessory to murder. They're going to be charged for accessory to murder. One cop already killed the man. And the other is going to be charged for accessory to murder. And that's how it is. Now a few cops are going to prison because of murder. That's on them, not on us. That's on them. They caused this man to lose his life because he broke up a fight. They can be your. This guy could have been your daddy, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, your grandfather, anybody in your family. And you and the police took his life because they thought it was fun to do. Like I said, man, the coroner has ruled it, has said that this was a homicide. It wasn't a, it wasn't accidental. It was a homicide. Comp kills man for nothing. Charged from now the cop is probably gonna be charged for murder and the other cops will probably be charged for accessories to murder. I don't want y'all to tell me what you think on this. Tell me what you think. Do you think the cops should go to prison for murder or should the cops could be let go and walk the street to kill your families that's the question of, that's today's question that's today's question and this is Afro Joe 10 like a TIE is follow me on <laughs> follow me on uh, Find me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Uh, uh, follow me on Tumblr and tell me what you think about this video. Share this video with all your friends and tell me what you think. I like to hear from you. Peace, love, and Afro Grief. Take care of one another. Peace.